she embarks on this three round bout. Flyweight amateur mixed martial arts on deck here. Melissa Balak and Dr. Kelly Marin underway. And Melissa is such a de decorated striker. I want to say she's 6-0 in, in kickboxing, maybe even more. And we saw that striking on display there. Big leg kick, some hands followed by a high kick. You see how crisp Melissa's boxing is. Kelly giving as good as she's getting in these grappling exchanges, really controlling the head of Melissa well. But Melissa underneath, on the hips. Kelly shutting down that second underhook. And Melissa pressing the issue here as well. And you knowing her so well, James, do you think she's trying to get work done in the clinch or is she trying to get this fight to the ground? Well, I think she, you know, she recently won a jiu-jitsu tournament and she's not one to be shy about hiding her skills. And those hands aren't shy either. Woo! Not at all. Oh, these are all landing clean. Melissa Ballack getting some crisp work done here. Like I said, her boxing is outstanding. That was, that was the thing that stood out in the fight with, with Savannah Graham. Savannah Graham is an excellent kicker, but Melissa an excellent boxer. I wouldn't be surprised to, say, to have Melissa say, no, I want to show that I can grapple in this fight because that's the kind of person Melissa is. You know, she's supremely confident in her skills and she wants to show off all of them for sure. She's trying to frame up a knee there. Yeah, boom, oh, big body shot. Good use of the underhook by, by Kelly here. But Melissa digging her own underhook and kind of scooting her butt out to the side, going after a single leg. Not the greatest place in the cage to do it, but. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm hearing a fan coach behind us. I'm not sure who it is, but very excited. Someone rooting for Melissa Ballack. Big, nice reversal by Melissa, digging her underhooks now. Really surprised to see how much of this first round has taken place in the clinch. Yeah, I'm hearing the corner of Melissa, the corner of Manisim Levy is yelling, Melissa, break off and punch. And I certainly agree with that assessment because anytime she let her hands go, Kelly did not have an answer for them. Just like that. But Kelly wisely closing that distance again. Melissa seems to be cinching her hips and trying to look for a nice lift and takedown. Like I said, she's the type of person who would say, no, I have to show off my grappling in my MMA debut. She has taken the back here. Climbing up, looking to establish that position. but Oh, big left hook in there. Woo! It's hard to say, like... Oh. It's hard to imagine a woman, women built like these two women, tall, long, having power, but it's so obvious the, the power that Melissa has in her hands. Really, Every, you can see that visibly, James. Every shot she's landing is affecting Maria. Yeah. Marin with a, a nice right hand of her own there over the top of the clinch. Round number one has come to an end. That's some strong work for both women on both sides. And I, I guess we're kind of beating home the point if I ask what you would be saying to Melissa Ballack in her corner right now. And I suppose that would be to separate and throw her hands. Exactly. I'd like to see her throw her hands well. I know she wants to show. I, just, I know her personality well enough to know that she wants to show her grappling. Like, no, I, everybody knows I can kickbox, but I'm going to show you I can grapple too. But if, if I were her, why belabor the point? We know we can, we can probably stop her with our hands, let those hands go. If you're Kelly, you better hope you can drag this thing to the ground. Kelly really looking like that is the game plan for her. She has been the one initiating most of the clinch exchanges, but Balak definitely not shy to them. Yeah. I'm watching some of the body language of Lyman Good in the corner, and he's definitely expressing to Melissa, punch, punch. Round number two, ready to get started here. Balak in the red tape, Marin in the blue. I love flex fans. I just want to put that out there. <laughs> nice body kick by Melissa to start things. See, there's those hands that we were hoping for. Boom, beautiful. See, Kelly's coming out, but she's, she's throwing one at a time. And when you're throwing one at a time against someone who's throwing the combinations that Melissa is, it's going to be very difficult for you to, to outscore or, or find your successful shot. Now, Melissa is enjoying double underhooks here, but she's not doing anything with them. I'd like to see her turn off the cage. Kelly bringing out the old Matt Serra foot stomp there. Oh, nice little shrug by there by, by Melissa. It appeared for a moment that Marin was attacking the... Left leg of Balak. 
Perhaps that could have been why she was unable to utilize the leverage in those underhooks, but now she drops down to a single leg. And she finishes the job. Beautiful. Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised to hear Melissa say, I want to show people I can grapple in this fight. And at least she showed him she can wrestle with, wrestle with a single leg right in front of our own John Matos right there, recording all this for social media for Flex Fights. And Melissa posturing up. I can't really see the hands too well from our angle or from the camera work, unfortunately. They're kind of stuck in a weird spot in the cage. Melissa with the knee centered in the guard so she can start to pass. Let's go! Let's go Zaria Bloom wanted to see a little more action, I guess. I guess those jujitsu lessons she's taking at Tiger Shulman's aren't teaching her enough to enjoy jujitsu. Here we see Melissa bringing that knee center again to pass. Boom. Let's go, Melissa, let's go! Nice. Coming up on one minute remaining now in round number two. Beautiful. Valley passing the side control. That's a nice pass by Melissa, and she looks like she's going after the arm here. Kelly recognized the danger and kind of circled her way out of danger. But Melissa using the cage here to try to jump on the back here. She might have something. She's getting close to back. Back and control here. Looks like she's under the, oh, she's under the neck. Oh, she's this got that rear naked choke. Oh, she's making faces in. at the cage. And making there's the tap. The that is it. That is the fight. Melissa Balick in the last way that I think everybody expected her to do it, a submission in her mixed martial arts debut. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Melissa partying up on top of that cage. Man, oh, man. She is taking in the moment. Very well deserved. Melissa Valick now an undefeated mixed Watch. martial artist. You see right here, she knows she has it. She's freezing under the chin. She's nodding. She's sticking her tongue out at the camera. She's like, all right, guys, come on. Let's just make this official. Just tap already, Kelly. That is going to make one hell of a promo video in the coming oh weeks. Oh, my God. Prepare to see that on Melissa Valick's social media for the next year at least. <laughs> and who can blame her? What or a until moment. she fights again and does it again. Gentlemen, referee Ryan Hoyner calls a stop to this contest at two minutes and 44 seconds of the second round with your winner by way of rear naked choke, Melissa Static Ballet.